I'm going to explain to you about ideas of reference delusions. At the coffee shop, a barista will say to a customer, Did you hear about the crazy story on the news? It's unrelated to me, but I think it has a double meaning. She's actually calling me crazy. When watching wrestling shows like the WWE, comedy shows, and so on, I think broadcasters are talking directly to me during a broadcast that's addressing everybody. People's posts on social media are referencing me directly, like a friend from years ago, even a celebrity. A post addressing everybody was posted because of me. I wore a camouflage t-shirt, then Taylor Swift posted on Instagram herself in a camouflage dress. She wore that dress because of me. Taylor Swift wrote the song Wonderland about me. She's, she's singing directly to me. This is delusional. She has no idea who I am. When I'm in the car, there's often elevator music that I tune out and I don't pay attention to. Sometimes a song will come on the radio that I relate to and I'm moved by, and I don't want people to know the feelings that I'm getting. Like Maroon 5's She Will Be Loved or Rachel Platten's Fight Song. I'll get panic attacks thinking they're reading my mind. I don't want them to know my feelings. I'm ashamed. I feel vulnerable, like they're reading my mind. Even albums that were written before I was born like Pink Floyd's The Wall, I think relate to me. Everybody can relate to The Wall. It's a well-written concept album. Roger Waters is a great lyricist. David Gilmour is a great guitarist. They don't know me personally. My dad can relate to it too. I started to call it a cheesy rock album. Lame rock music. Laughing about it. Hyper self-conscious. Emotionally naked. If I like something, my parents would shame me. Like, I, I feel like my father was shaming me for liking Pink Floyd's The Wall. And I feel hurt, made fun of, trashed. I feel emotionally naked. I don't want my true heart revealed. The true me is timid, small. I don't want everybody watching me. So I put on a mask. I'm uneasy about showing my true self. I'm uneasy about people getting to know the real me. I want people to pay attention to me. Sometimes the attention is welcome, like on social media. Other times I feel ashamed and stripped naked. Get away from me. I don't want you to know what I'm thinking. I created my stage name, Sell Waters, to hide from family, friends, employers, and so on. It's my internet pseudonym, my, su my superhero secret identity, Sell Waters. Other performers put on sensational performances and play characters, like Lady Gaga and Jim Morrison of The Doors. I heard before getting comfortable in his exaggerated, pro wrestling like character, Jim Morrison would turn his back to the audience. On stage, he was a rebellious wild man. In real life, he was anxious. Behind the rock star character, he is really anxious. Cell Waters is an enjoyable daydream character, but it's not who I am in real life. Then I think the wall has a direct connection to me. I begin to daydream. Sid Barrett is the true main lyricist of Pink Floyd. He's my biological father. The reality is the music moves me. Pink Floyd doesn't know me. The music moves many people. It's popular. Most people like it and relate to it. I feel ashamed. Stripped naked. Don't want people to know the real me. I want to share emotionally moving things. In my mind daydreams, I already shared them. And that's how people read my mind. I feel in danger revealing myself. They already know the truth. When it comes to Pink Floyd, my dad would make fun of me because of the similarities. I was bullied in school, I had an overbearing, controlling mother, I'd isolate myself, I built up a wall that separated me from the world, I wasted time, I was blurring fantasy and reality. I feel vulnerable, but don't be ashamed to share things with people in, 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 this, in, in life. You know, don't be ashamed to share things with friends and family and so on, because you don't have to feel embarrassed.